Hi, it's Scott with Water Heaters Only, and welcome to another edition of It's Good to Know. In this segment, we'll be discussing the burner assembly in your water heater. The burner assembly in your current water heater is not the same as it was 20 years ago, mostly because now it's in a sealed chamber. That's because in 2003, new FVIR, or Flammable Vapor Ignition Resistance Standards, were set for water heaters that required 30, 40, and 50 gallon water heaters to have features that would resist ignition of flammable vapors outside the burner chamber. Prior to 2003, the burner assembly was essentially in an open accessible area under the water heater. If you remember lighting your pilot with a long match or charcoal lighter, then you remember this style of burner. Before we start talking a little bit more about some of the combustion air and how water heater burners breathe differently, let's go ahead and take a look at a burner. Okay, and here we are with a pretty typical burner assembly. As you can see, this big area right here, this screen, this is where the, the gas comes through and the flame to heat the water. As you can see, the gas line right here. We got pilot tube. This is gas comes through for the pilot tube. And this is to the PXO lighter. And if you want to zoom in, I'll just show you real briefly here. As I said right here, this is the pilot tube and this is for the, the sparker. And then this little threefold right here, this is your piezo sparker. This will spark and light the gas coming through the pilot tube, which is right here. And then this little ingenious guy right here is a thermocouple. And that involves two different types of metals, which when heated, produce a small electric current. And while this pilot flame's going, this current's run through here, it keeps the gas opening. If there is no flame detect, no heat, and the flame goes out for some reason, mechanical failure, this will shut the gas off. So it's a very neat system. And as you can see, pretty basic other than that. I will say one thing, this can be uh, clean. We will check it out. Sometimes you'll notice it may be black. That's an issue called sooting. That means the flame is not working properly, the burner assembly perhaps, something that can be cleaned. We'll always take a look at it. So there you go, the burner assembly. And now let's uh, take a look at where it is in the water heater. And here is where that burner assembly goes, uh, typically in most residential water heaters. And as you can see, you can't see it. This is, the, this is the sealed chamber we're discussing. These are the changes that took place after 2003, the FEIR changes again. So the burner assembly is in there. We were showing you this is the main gas line. This is the line coming in for the pilot tube. And uh, these wires here, these are part of the thermal shutoff. Another safety feature, if the water heater runs too hot, it will shut it down again. Uh, just like the FEIR, always trying to make water heaters a little safer. And uh, there's the window here to inspect the flame. Uh, we'll typically do that. Most people may not know if the flame looks good or looks bad, but we'll be able to see if it's getting enough gas, too much oxygen, and also just see if the pilot flame is working as well. This is uh, something that should not be removed by just your average layman. A licensed professional should come out and take care of it. But again, this is it. This is your gas control, the button for your piezo sparker, temperature, and uh, again, pretty basic. Now let's get back to talking more about the burner assembly. Okay, so now we've looked at the burner assembly and I've shown you the newer water heater with the arrestor plate and the sealed chamber. Let's get back to discussing the burner assemblies and how newer water heaters breathe differently. As we said prior to 2003, the air that fed the burner came through multiple air slots located all around the bottom of the water heater. However, if there was ever an issue with the flammable vapor combusting improperly, that could escape and cause damage and even be dangerous to people in the area. So to prevent this, as we showed you, the arrestor plate had to be installed in the burner chamber, and that meant that the chamber itself was sealed. The arrestor plate allowed the flammable vapor and combustion air in, but they could not escape. And that's meant, again, that the water heaters now breathe a little differently. Whereas older models had massive amounts of available combustion air, the newer water heaters now usually only have two air intakes. If one of those get clogged, or if the amount of combustion air is lacking due to a blockage, the water heater will not function properly. So when you're replacing an older water heater that no problems with available combustion air, you may find that the newer water does indeed have a problem. So a couple things you can do. First, make sure there's two feet of clearance around the water heater. Also, make sure the area is clear of uh, lint and debris. And really, if it's an in and inside closet, make sure the combustion air availability is there, meaning that there is uh, combustion slots on top and bottom of the door. If you have more questions about combustion air, please check out our combustion air video. One last note, due to the fact that the newer sealed chambers do have door gases to help seal them, the average person should not attempt to repair the burner assembly. 
that chamber door gasket is broken, the average person doesn't have the parts to properly fix it, and that could lead to problems. So please give us a call. We're happy to come on out and take a look. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. For good to know, and until next time, we'll see you then.